the assassination of John F. Kennedy was one of the most shocking moments in U.S. history. Elvis was a very patriotic man himself and really liked Kennedy. So today, Marty Lacker discusses the effect which the death of John Kennedy had on Elvis and how he reacted to it. So, Elvis had already taken his sleeping pills and Marty, who heard the news on TV, quickly went to his room to wake him up. We had been up all night and uh, in the house we were staying at at the time, he was leasing Perugia Way. There's a short hallway between his room and my room. And uh, we had just all gone to bed from being up all night. And as soon as I got in my room, just out of habit, I turned the TV on. And when the news bulletin came on, you know, that they thought they didn't, they weren't sure at the time that he was dead, but that he had been shot and that he had been taken to Parkland Hospital. So because I knew Elvis really liked him and because of Elvis, Elvis's patriotism, what have you, I went and knocked on his door. Elvis initially got angry and told Marty to go away. But when Marty told Elvis that Kennedy was shot and may have passed away, there was a silence, probably a silence of shock. Elvis asked Marty to tell their maid, Lillian, to bring a cup of coffee and bring all of the Memphis Mafia members. I went and knocked on his door. Well, evidently he had already taken some pills because he was almost asleep. I knocked on the door. I said, Elvis, you need to get up. He said, get away from my damn door. I said, Elvis, you need to get up. He said, again, leave me alone. I said, Elvis, President Kennedy was just shot and he may be dead. And there was silence. And then he said, tell Lillian, who was the maid out there, to bring some coffee into their den and tell the guys to come out. When the accused killer, Lee Harvey Oswald, a former U.S. Marine who had embraced Marxism and defected for a time to the Soviet Union, was shown on TV, Elvis got very angry. He threw his coffee cup and abused Oswald. He also told the Memphis Mafia that if anyone dares to kill Elvis, then he should not live. Basically, Elvis wanted the Memphis Mafia to kill that person. So we sat in the den watching all the proceedings, you know, on television. And then when they got Lee Harvey Oswald is when he really went berserk. In front of the TV in that house was a big, thick marble table. And there was coffee cups and everything there. And when he saw them bring Oswald into that hallway, he took his coffee cup and he slammed it on that marble and it broke. And he said, God damn son of a bitch. And he looked at all of us and he said, I'll tell you what, I don't want no measly mouth, slant-eyed son of a bitch. This was Elvis's reaction. Elvis was disturbed by the sight of Kennedy's killer being alive and fine. He got satisfaction afterwards, though, when he was shot and killed by Jack Ruby while being transferred after having been taken into custody. Shoots me, I don't want him to be able to sit in the witness box saying, I killed Elvis Presley. He said, I want you guys to get to him first and pull his fucking eyeballs out. And I mean, he just, and, and that really, you know, took us aback a little because one, him thinking in, in those terms, you know, of, of somebody killing him. And uh, he applauded when Jack Ruby shot Oswald. Elvis was quite an emotional person and certainly believed in blood for blood revenge. Do check out our other videos where we know more about Elvis. That's it for today. Hope to meet you all next time.